Okay, so on we go with our puppy. Let's see how far we can get today. It's coming near the end, I think. So I'm just gonna keep these three colors in my hand. The usual three colors. Just carry on, you know, putting some detail in now, I think. So, we'll just, I've done bits and pieces here. Probably need a bit more on it, but we'll, we'll try and move across here a bit. Just moving across this way. So now I can see there's bits of orange in here, so I'll pop those in. Just like that, see? Just work across it. Very light touch here. Don't need a lot. Bit of red in there. Just work across streaks. See there's a streak in here. Now this, this bit here, on the end here, is much redder. See, so we'll just put the, the red in, try and leave the creamy streaks in a bit, just smooth it over a bit. And then I've got some streaks in there. And we've got our stripe bits coming up here, and there's a nice strong bit there. stripes in here, see? Just going over, just look at what you look, you know, really look at what, what's going on here. And then just copy it, more or less. Now that, that there is quite a kind of darky colour, so see it's in, it's in the shade a bit there, so just go over it lightly all the way over, very lightly. See it's coming up here very lightly. It's a bit lighter at the end. That's okay. And then we've got a strong bit in there, which is that bit there. That could be a bit darker actually. I'll get the get the black on that. And here look. Some black streaks in there. Doesn't need a lot. Um, then this bit here, you can see that's that's darker. There's still kind of there, really, underneath there somewhere. Then we've got the black bit there, which we'll do in a minute. And then the creamy, creamy bit under here, but it. It's actually coloured like they've just done, very, very lightly. And then we've got another bit coming. It goes above that black bit there. And the streaks. It's quite a defined line there. And then that. into each little patch now, just adding what we've missed already. Also this is quite blurry looking, it's not really sharp, so we've got to be a bit careful of that really. Don't want to get anything sharp in there. This is quite strong there. I've probably gone a bit too much with that. Okay, we need to do 
this bit. That's that bit there. That's that bit there we've just done. And we've got the uh, lighter bit coming over here. not sharp black, very black, a very dark grey, but because we've got the other colour underneath we can we can just kind of go over it very very gently. There's some black in here and some streaky bits in here and there's a bit of black on the end here. See because we've mapped it all out it's now very simple just to really fine-tune it, that's all. And you can just see a bit of darkness there, going through there. Now that is red, but it's, it's quite dark. In fact, it needs to be, it's one of these, at least it's, it's dark, but it's kind of in the shadow, so go a bit with that. That's okay. And then this, it's coming down here. Yeah, that's the bit there. That's coming down there. And then there's some little bits in there. That's the good thing about having the pencils in your hand ready. So when you get to a spot, you can just whip them up quickly and do it. And it'll save you coming back at this point now. It'll save you coming back to all these areas. Just do it as you go. That's that. Yeah. So this now. I've kind of got this into position a bit more. There's some streaks in there over the red. Then that's an opus. Set. We'll put some white over these. pushing hard here, I'm not pressing hard, but these pencils are so good at getting the colour on, you don't really have to press hard at all. Now you see, what we've got here is some lovely lines coming right the way through this. So they don't always want to be in the same direction by any means. Just get them in. And they're quite long, those lines. Quite long. We've even got some black lines coming through here now. I can see these. That's the black lines of his... No, his yeah, possibly. No, I think maybe it's not. It's just his... It's just his just his neck, but they're coming through there, and that's quite, quite sharp, sharp, well, sharper, it's not very, very, very sharp, but it's thin up there, that's a darker spot there, coming through there, see where it is on his ear, it's up there, and then we've got that there, This is looking a little bit long here, so we'll just go up with that a bit. Let's uh, just get the effect in. It's quite dark, but it's, it's a wiggly line that.
see the lines are coming there, that direction. I'll put some more of those in after. Then that's got a line coming through there. It might be a touch longer actually, that bit there. We'll put some more in there. That's far too harsh that line there, so we'll, we'll need some we'll need some cream in the back here. here which we can we can change this see that's a good thing about pastel you can change it easy this is why it's such a good medium for beginners such a good line. I, I want it to be in really. Then we'll go over them with orange. Just to knock them down a bit. Just bits of them. Doesn't have to be exactly all over the whole thing. Just more effective if it's just little bits of it. blurred looking isn't it really I've got that strong bit there and then it's kind of coming across just knock it back that's good enough it, it, then that line here is coming right over the front of it and although I haven't done this line exactly it doesn't matter So you can see that that's behind. So yeah, knock it back. See, 
just so and we've got a bit more let's get this orangey bits in here they're nice and bright So yeah, we've got lots of streaky stuff going on here, which is real fun to do actually. Looking at where these are on his ear, it's coming up. They come out to about halfway on his bit there. So these are about the right direction, uh, position, and then get the direction in. Used to be a bit lighter on the end there, a nice little flick there, and here, flicks, here, flicks. I try and do with the pencils is that I try and get it to look like it's been painted. Although I don't call this painting, I know some people do call pastels painting. It isn't, is it really? It's drawing. But I like it to look like you haven't really drawn it, that it actually does look like a, a, an, a, a paintwork, I suppose. Uh, it's not a conscious decision, I just like the look of, look of it don't like it looking too neat and I'm hoping that some of you will like this kind of look uh, to do with pastels because most people that are using pastels will just really go for the very natural uh, very realistic looking um, animal but you know there's probably tons of people well, I know there are tons of people out there that do that kind of thing you know, much better than I would because I really don't really want to be doing that. So I'm not going to put the time into it like I used to. I used to do it, but I just, you know, for me, you know, it's this, this is more fun. It's more fun. It's more expressive, I think. And I have seen a lot of people on YouTube saying that, you know, they're really good at it. But they're tired. They're tired of doing it like that. And they're changing. They are changing, just like I have. You know, they are moving away from that ultra-realistic look because it takes an incredible application. It takes the kind of application that pencil work or charcoal work does, well, pencil especially, to, you know, it takes hours and hours and hours to get it. Of course, a lot of people that do this, they're doing commission work as well. Um, I don't do much of that, actually. I do get asked to do it quite a bit, but I don't really... I do really... I'm really picky about pictures that I use. Um, and it, it's quite difficult. I think people don't generally understand that if they want a really good picture, they've got to give you a really good photo. Uh, otherwise, it's a, it's a task. It really is a task. 